Today in Garth Egg Guardians, we are going to introduce you to the Reptile Collection. It's a brand new collection after my fire in 2015 at my reptile facility and losing close to a thousand snakes and other reptiles. But this year in February, I started my collection back up and we are going to introduce you to what I have for this year's my first breeding season back here on Halloween, October 31st. And I'm going to introduce you first off with my very first snake back in the collection, which is Balthazar. He is a caramel albino Darwin carpet python. He is a 2021 caramel albino produced by Nick Mutton. And I acquired him this year as my first animal. And uh, after that, I got Lily, which is a caramel coastal carpet python. We'll bring her out here in a little bit, but first off, we, we're going to do, he's a, a little young, but first year back, he's already producing sperm plugs, and I have a 2020 nerd line Darwin carpet python, and we have put him with her, which is Dividend, which you notice, I don't bother going in with hooks on most of them. My snakes, are, the larger ones, I'm used to uh, retics and everything. We're on the uh, carpets. And the carpets, most of my carpets I've tamed down. And, but the larger ones I'm going, that are breeding, I'm going to, uh, of course, tap them with the uh, hook and bring them out. But everybody here, is pretty tame and handleable. So this is my Darwin carpet project and caramel Darwin project. We're hoping to get albinos, caramel albinos, and hopefully get a sun glow albino or two out of this breeding. We're, we're going to try it. It's a new, they're awful young, but in small, but it is what it is, and they are what I've got, and he's producing sperm plugs. I didn't check her for follicles, and, well, they're happy together, cohabitating. It's not going to hurt nothing for them to get used to being with each other, and Next, I'm going to introduce you to Mary. Mary is a very special wild line jungle carpet python. And she has been put in with Jasper, which we just acquired Jasper three weeks ago. I know everybody says we need to put him in a quarantine and everything, but I just got him. The person I got him from was a very wonderful breeder and didn't have room for him in his breeding project. And he is a welcome addition to my breeding project. I needed a male for Mary. Let's give her a little tap. We'll reach in there, grab her up with a hook. Go up and under with this little beautiful girl. Yes, she is. She is such a sweetheart when she gets out of her cage. And look at her variated jungle pattern. Just stripes for days going vertical. Well... I just so happened to get a tiger striped male 
to go with her. We are going to make some stripes and this wonderful jungle pattern. And you can see she has some variated yellows. High, you wouldn't call it a high yellow. You wouldn't call it a, a low impact yellow or anything like that. She is an excellent example of a wow line jungle carpet python. And that's a good girl. Yes, her is. Let's get her back in here. No, get back in there. Yeah, girl. And we're hoping that she's gravid soon. We got her paired up with Jasper, which is our striped tiger jungle carpet python. And he. Like I said, we just acquired him, and he is an absolute, just fine, fine example of a striped tiger. Look at that pattern. Just stripes for days. Now, with him, everybody keeps screaming, high yellow, high yellow. Well, I believe... And mark my word, everybody watch this fact come true that the insurgent is going to go more towards the low impact yellow, like a natural jungle carpet. And all these low impacts with this camo colored yellow with the black going through the yellow. I, I am betting that that is going to gain in popularity here soon. And I got him and, well, I was told that he is a strictly chicken eater. So, well, good thing we raised chickens here. Maybe we'll bring them to our new location in California. There is a nice shot of his stripe. Look at that stripe. Look at just how beautiful he is. All right, let's get him back in this holding cage. Look at that old boreal tail grab a hold of that hook. And remember, never ever pull on the carpet's tail to get him loose. That tail is very, very fragile. All right, we are going to go up here and we are going to grab Lily out of her cage. Come on, girl. Now, Lily just got, as you see, a remodel on her cage and is looking absolutely fantastic in her new habitat. Y'all check out that video. We, we got Lily here, which is a caramel coastal carpet python, and I acquired her from Andrew's Carpets and Gargoyles. And everybody check out his videos and everything and his website. And the reason I got Lily, besides to go with the caramel situation to make my snows when I add any xanthic to it. Let's see if we can get in there and get a shot of Lily's head pattern. Get that in. Oh, if you can see that, she has a smiley face. And I thought that was just the most adorable thing ever. And named her appropriately after my co-founder and future wife. Let's get Lily put back in here. In her habitat. And next up is going to be Crypto. Get him out of here. I know, no hook, no nothing. Just snag him out while he's in the middle of a shed. Now, Crypto is a 66% het azanthic tiger that I got from Riley Jemison from Riley's Reptiles. A very reliable and respected breeder and all his animals 
seem to be absolutely healthy and he is no exception. He is absolutely wonderful, a real good eater, perfectly tame, good grower, perfect pattern. We're hoping to prove out this azanthic with obviously making our snows and all that and we look forward to acquiring some more animals from Riley because I absolutely love the quality of his animals and his videos the way he takes care of them highly highly respected breeder and mad props to him now next up we, we got bald pythons we are going into the bell foundation here via soul sucker and we're, we're doing that through the inchy lesser with lotto and the sulfur mojave version with cardi and soulless is a soul sucker so let, let's put Soulless, alright, put crypto back in his habitat, get him all settled down, get him locked down. And lock it down. And we will reach up in here and we will grab out Soulless here, our soul sucker. is a very reliable breeder the sired many babies and I acquired him for my collection and once we got him cycled in he has been locking as you can check on my Instagram and see the videos of him with Cardi and Lotto and we, we are going to once we get the uh, bells to come out, we are going to add the azantic and get us a blue bell. And let's up next. We'll reach in here. We'll put him back. And grab Cardi. Right here. Absolutely love, love this girl. She is a wonderful, wonderful snake. Tame, good eater, possibly gravid. Has several locks over the last few weeks. And we bred her to Solus. And the only thing I can see wrong with her right there on one of her patterns Looks like a old, old rat bite when I acquired her back in, I believe I got her in April at the uh, Reading Reptile Show. All right, and then we can go put her up and we have Lotto, our Inchy Lesser, and she is also possibly gravid by Solus. Look at that nice, nice dorsal stripe going down her. Be very gentle with her, but look at that Inchy pattern coming faded. Very, very good example, and I'm not for sure, but the guy I got it from said if you breed her out right, there is possibilities that she's possibly het for hidden gene as well as being a inchy lesser. But we'll breed her and find out when we go to Soulless because you know as well as I do, Soul Sucker has that hidden gene woman in, in it that, that makes it. And as you notice, here at Gothic Guardians, all our snakes are nice and tame. We 
feed everybody on a nice constant schedule and we breed our own rats chickens and rabbits to feed them and right now this is the only one that we don't have paired up or have a female acquired we have one in the works coming up that we have tried to acquire she's just waiting some shipping and some final details and hopefully we'll have an unboxing video and a surprise for a uh, necromancer which is our motley het cow albino dwarf boa uh, he's a little cage aggressive but you know we can never be hooked oh good night boy one bad thing about being a super dwarf not enough body As you can see, he is a super dwarf het cow albino het IMG motley boa. And you can see his just exactly how dark, dark he is. And his motley pattern, very, very nice. We're looking to get him bred and bring him in a nice female let's get him put up he just got fed and i don't want him to regurgitate and he seems to be a little bit on the annoyed side but just look at how beautiful he is but that is the collection as of now for our breeding season. We have in the works a female, hopefully up and coming in the next week or so for a unboxing video and a breeding for a necromancer. We're hoping to get a heck cow albino jungle uh, BCI and get him a girl hopefully in the next few weeks and everybody enjoy like and subscribe for the video and this is gothic guardian Co collection and i am craig goth and i look forward to seeing you again soon